the Duchess of Edinburgh, Sophie, has conveyed her profound sorrow upon learning about the unfortunate passing of Helen Holland, an 81-year-old great-grandmother who lost her life after being struck by a police escort accompanying the Duchess. The incident occurred in West London on May the 10th, when a Metropolitan Police motorcycle collided with Ms Holland at the junction of Cromwell Road and Warwick Road. In a statement released on Wednesday, the Duchess expressed her deepest condolences and sympathies to the family of Ms Holland. The statement reads, The Duchess of Edinburgh is deeply saddened to hear that Helen Holland has passed away. Her Royal Highness's deepest condolences and sympathies go to all of Ms Holland's family. The palace further said the Duchess will get in touch privately with the dead woman's family. Helen Holland, who had been visiting her older sister at the time of the crash, was promptly attended to by paramedics from the London Ambulance Service and London Air Ambulance. She was then transported to the hospital, while no other injuries were reported. Tragically, Miss Holland's injuries included multiple broken bones and massive internal injuries, leading to a valiant two-week struggle for survival. Despite her tenacious fight, irreversible brain damage ultimately claimed her life. The Independent Office for Police Conduct, IOPC, is currently conducting an investigation into the incident. On May the 19th, the IOPC appealed for witnesses and obtained CCTV footage from nearby properties for examination. Amanda Rowe, the IOPC Regional Director, expressed the organisation's sympathy for Miss Holland and her family, assuring them of regular updates as the investigation progresses. Chief Superintendent Richard Smith, the head of the Met Police's Royalty and Specialist Protection Unit, acknowledged the profound impact of the tragic outcome on his colleagues across the Metropolitan Police. He emphasised that officers understand the scrutiny they face both on and off duty. Following the referral of the incident, the IOPC launched an independent investigation and the Metropolitan Police are fully cooperating with and supporting this inquiry. As part of the ongoing investigation, the IOPC has stated that they will examine police body camera footage and CCTV footage from nearby properties. Additionally, all officers present at the scene will be interviewed, and a request has been made for any witnesses to come forward with relevant information. The IOPC remains in contact with Ms Holland's family, ensuring that they are appraised of the investigation's progress and providing necessary support during this difficult time. A previous statement from Buckingham Palace has expressed the Duchess's heartfelt thoughts and prayers for the injured woman and her family. The Duchess commended the swift response of the emergency services and pledged to remain updated on any developments. The Duchess of Edinburgh's expression of condolences and ongoing investigation by the IOPC underscore the gravity with which this incident is being treated. It is a solemn occasion that calls for empathy, support and a commitment to uncovering the truth. As the investigation continues, it is our collective responsibility to provide comfort and compassion to those affected by this heartbreaking event. Our thoughts are with the family and loved ones of Helen Holland during this period of mourning and remembrance. May they find strength in the outpouring of support from their community as they navigate this difficult journey of healing.